Hi, I'm Geraldine Carl with The Real News Network. This healthcare story is part of a series we are doing to help Americans make better informed decisions about healthcare reform. But we can only do this work with your financial support. The economic crisis has hit us hard. Please become a member today so that we can continue bringing you stories like this. On Monday, October 5th, President Obama met with 150 doctors from all 50 states. According to the New York Times, the White House said it assembled the group of doctors by working with several medical organizations, including the American Medical Association. Many were members of Doctors for America, a new grassroots organization, and an outgrowth of Doctors for Obama, which worked to help elect the president but it also appears to be working closely with Organizing for America, Mr. Obama's political organization. In an eight-minute address in the Rose Garden, the president outlined the general ideas of the five committees' drafts, but there was no mention of the public option. The doctors in attendance reiterated their agreement with the urgent need for the reform. However, no consensus on concrete measures exists in the healthcare community at large. And while the president was meeting with one group, another group of pro-single-pair doctors seeking to attend the conference was refused entry. I'm Dr. Margaret Flowers with Physicians for National Health Program. We represent over 17,000 physicians nationwide, and we uh, are advocating for a national health program which is completely universal, everybody in, nobody out, and cost-saving. It allows us to take care of our patients without interference from insurance companies. And we requested a meeting with the president. Uh, we sent him a letter in the end of August, and he denied a meeting with us. The Leadership Conference for Guaranteed Healthcare, which is over 20 million people nationwide, requested a meeting. We were denied. The Mattis Hell doctors traveled across the country to meet with the president. They were denied. Today, the president is meeting with hand-picked physicians who support his agenda, rather than meeting with those physicians who are advocating for real evidence-based reform. The healthcare system is totally dysfunctional, and I totally believe that it's time for us to have a single-payer national health insurance plan, similar to what people up in Canada and Taiwan have. We uh, signed on a sheet uh, that we wanted to be admitted, even though uh, we may not have been on the invitation list. Uh, they took our names and an hour later told us that we must leave. Obama is excluding us doctors who have a slightly different idea about how to reform health care in the United States. We're very upset that this legislation is literally being written by industry executives to benefit the health insurance industry and not to provide health care for our patients. 45,000 or more patients are dying every year needlessly because they can't get health care. The suffering is immense and the time for that is to stop. We have a simple solution, Medicare for everybody, and we need to do that now. My name is David Swanson. I work with After Downing Street and Progressive Democrats of America and many other groups. Uh, and I name that one because they've had this theme of health care, not warfare, for years now. Uh, and today that worked out very well because they're having a conference uh, inside the fence at the White House about health care. And we're here to say end the warfare. Uh, and you get both messages. And in fact, we've been trying to make clear uh, in our chants and in our interviews that uh, if they would end these wars that the majority of Americans want ended, there would be more than enough money to give us single-payer health care, which the majority of Americans want, and have money left over. So it's hard to see what the problem is with that agenda other than corruption and bribes and the power of, uh, of money and the corporate media and party control of, of Congress members who don't represent us. There was also a group of doctors outside the fence to say, why are we not even included in discussions? We support single-payer health care. Physicians for a National Health Program support single-payer health care. The California Nurses Association and all of the nurses are out here to say we want single-payer health care, or at least we want it in the conversation so that something worthwhile becomes the middle ground and the compromise rather than what we're looking at now. Donna Smith, a friend of mine who, who was in in the movie Sicko is here, uh, who told me that she's talked to everyone who was in the movie Sicko, and the bills that are in Congress now would not do anything 
would not have done anything to help any of them with their problems. So, so we want to at least move the conversation. Uh, and it, I think it's, it's shameful to put doctors on the front as the face of a policy that's clearly been dictated by the health insurance companies and the major hospital uh, organizations and the pharmaceuticals. And this president won't even show us the visitor logs of whom he's talked to. But the compromise lawmakers are trying to achieve now revolves around a government-run plan. The Senate Finance Committee's bill, which does not include a public option, has to be combined with the Health Committee's reform bill. The most trying will be the merger of the House and the Senate legislation plans. The House Democrats said they would not vote for a bill without a robust public option.